Well, I hope our KSN crew stay hydrated. The time has come. KSN summer road trip is here. Several members of our team cruising the Kansas highways today. Jeff Hernan, Emily Lee Younger join us now live from Winfield. How are things going out there? Hey, Craig, welcome to Winfield, Kansas, USA. Say hi, everybody. Yes. Oh, man, our big su summer road trip is off and running, Emily. It sure is, and he packed everything that he needed. He got his laundry done. I did. I, so I have more than one T-shirt, thank goodness, because it's, it's hot. It, it is very warm, and this is our final stop for the evening. We were in two other places, Eureka and Augusta, just before here. And all of us, yes, Jeff, Lisa, me included. We all took a ride on the zip line at the playground. Hopefully you'll see video of that a little bit later. That's legit. <laughs> The city of Augusta also working to keep its history alive. I want to give you some information there. You can see it's very evident in the theater there. Built in 1935, it was one of the very first in the country to have neon lights inside and out. Being Art Deco style, the walls and ceiling tiles are hand painted. Today, the theater is used for concerts and movies. It's amazing to have this here at Augusta um, for something to have lasted this long and a, um, a small town. You know, it's uh, this is a great town. We're growing. They're working really hard to to expand and bring more things into town and to be able to have this right here in the middle of downtown where everybody can see it. It's just wonderful. Community members and businesses recently came together to raise money to update the theater's marquee that was after it was damaged in a storm. And another hidden gem you might not know about in Augusta, Twisted Oz Motorcycle Museum. It's the brainchild of Kelly Midland and Jerry Ottaway. The motorcycle enthousi enthusiasts combine their collections to share with people all over the world. He's seen all the antiques and everything, and he said, I always wanted to build a museum, a motorcycle museum, and I said, well, it wouldn't be any good because you're going to lose money with them. And uh, anyway, he talked me into it. And some of the bikes date back to 1905, including a one of one wood motorcycle and an Indian six. In six years, 35,000 people have visited the museum. It's open Fridays through Sundays, but they will open for tours during the week. And get this, admission is free. And also in Augusta, it's home to Kansas's tallest playground, which we saw today. Didn't go down the slides. It was a little bit too hot for that. Mm -hmm. uh, the ropes course inspired Jungle Gym has a 30-foot tower and 30-foot slide. It was built in 2018 in memory of Dalton Palmer, who died in an ATV crash. 